Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, Commissioners. <clears throat> this week is National Probation and Patrol Week, uh, Parole Week. We are extremely proud of Lowndes County Probation and all the fantastic work that they're doing, not just to serve our court system, but the way that they go above and beyond to create programs, job fairs, and other things for people who are on probation. So we will be having lunch with them on Friday, and Felicia is doing some other things for them to celebrate during the week. Uh, yesterday, I had lunch with the new athletic director for VSU, Mr. Uh, Troy Caton. Uh, we talked about some exciting partnerships related to workforce development as well as internships with their student athletes. Um, so I look forward to bringing those programs to you guys as we move through the year with him. Um, he had huge shoes to fill with her retirement, but um, he is fantastic. I was very impressed with how he's already embraced the community and really cares about those kids, not just the athletics. So there's a very promising um, environment there moving forward. Also, you all recently approved the crisis track software to help emergency management in the event that we do have another national disaster. That training has already uh, started, so we've already trained several groups. We're moving forward with the rest of them. So I just want to let you all know that in the event we should have an issue, we, we are ready and that software has been put to use very quickly. Um, tomorrow, I will be hosting several young ladies from the Beautiful Creations by Chanel program. Some of you may be, um, be uh, familiar with that program. It's a mentoring program for um, young ladies who may be considered high risk or not. Um, but they do things in the community tomorrow. We'll be sharing some of our local services with them from a county standpoint. We'll take them to lunch, give them a tour of this work courthouse. So anyone who is interested in tagging along with us for a super fun few hours tomorrow with those young ladies, we'll be spending some time with them. Also, next Thursday evening, the Business After Hours is being held at the Conference Center in Highlight Tourism. Um, they, are, they are calling it Christmas in July and talking about how we can put more heads in beds through weeknights. So if you guys please support Tourism and Conference Center by attending the Business After Hours that the Chamber hosts at the Conference Center next Thursday evening. Um, also on Monday, uh, Rachel and her staff will be hosting the Elks Lodge Kids Camp at Pie Pine. So on Monday, the course will be closed to the public. That can traditionally be a slow day for us anyway, but we will be hosting that kids camp out there on Monday. Um, then August the 1st, the Georgia Grown Trails ribbon cutting has been scheduled for 3 p.m. at the Historic Courthouse. Um, we're going to make some special presentations. We're also going to have some state leadership there, so I hope that you all can make that ribbon cutting. And then I think that one of the things that we're most excited about that has happened since um, I reported last is that recently Lowndes County Animal Shelter was awarded a $3,000 spay and neuter grant from the Department of Ag. So our staff will be going to Tipton tomorrow to accept that grant. Um, but we will be led, led, leveraging that with other programs to make that money go a little further. Um, as you know, we continue to adjust our adoption fees to try to meet the market, get additional animals out of the shelter. Um, but our updated numbers right now for a spay and neuter from one of our, one of our local veterinarians is between $100 and $115. And our adoption fees at the highest end are only $125. So we're going to have to look at some adjustments there. But um, we are focusing on, on pit bulls. That was the nature of the grant. That's our highest type of breed that suffers from euthanasia. Um, so we're excited to see how far we can make this this grant. And that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Dukes? What else is involved in the health care of an animal before adoption? <clears throat> so they, the Department of Ag is pretty specific on what's required there. So they're spayed or neutered. They have their um, rabies vaccination, they have their first round of shots or whatever is currently needed for their shots. They receive a health certification from the vet and they're also microchipped. What's that total cost? So right now that total cost is running us close to $200 and we're charging 125 for the adoption. So we're going to have to look at making some adjustments there. Um, right now I've asked staff to look at our local rescues and other shelters in the area to see what the, what the comps are related to their adoption fees and then we'll we'll see how close we can do that. Very good. Thank yes, you. Any other questions? All right, we'll move now to our citizen wishing to be heard. Our first